Hi, my name is Cold Beer and let's start with Gears Tactics. This game easily stands in one line with XCOM titles in a sense of quality and provided entertainment. Great graphics, cinematics and really interesting encounters had me pinned on my chair for hours and hours. Usually when I install turn-based games I get bored really quickly, either because the game seems too simple, too boring or it's just too hard for me. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, but Gears Tactics is in the perfect Goldilocks zone in terms of difficulty and fun and it kept my interest alive for hours. This game rocks and rolls and is great in general like the best doctor's sausage in the juiciest potato salad. Expeditions Viking Game description says A small band of Norse warriors lands on the shores of England. History may have forgotten their names, but their actions live on. Well, I should probably say that the actions Vikings made in a real-life England involved a lot of pillaging and even more raping. TV series named Vikings and later an even better and even more epic TV show named Norsemen teached us really well. Game has very positive reviews on Steam, but there are also quite a few comments saying that the game is a bit too slow, you know, just like your sister. So be careful, read those comments before buying. Phantom Doctrine the game has probably the lowest score in this list with only 75% of positive reviews on Steam, but the price is nice. For it you will get more than 40 hours of single player campaign, featuring a rich plot with numerous historical events and characters to bring the terrifying reality of the Cold War to life. So basically this is an XCOM game, but instead of aliens you have spies. Low rating is mostly because of the flaws in the mechanics, because the game may seem a bit boring, and other flaws, for example when hidden bodies miraculously disappear, just like your money on the Steam sale. Wasteland 3 this is a party-based role-playing game with a focus on strategic combat and complex story. It includes a more fluid action system, vehicles, supports, cop mode and environmental dangers. Game story is set in the lands of the frozen state of Colorado. I'm pretty sure that if you are not American, and probably even if you are, you have no idea where Colorado is. So there is a map. See? Watching my channel equals more wisdom for you. Wasteland games are the spiritual successor of classic Fallout games, so if you liked those long time ago, you will love Wasteland as well. Invisible Incorporated. He will take control of the agents and will infiltrate the world's most dangerous corporations. You know, probably like Activision Blizzard. I've heard that it's a dangerous place indeed. Stealth, precision and teamwork are essential in high stakes, high profit missions where every move may cost you your life. Or, you know, at least your human milk bottle will be stolen there. You will start with one of 10 unlockable agents, plus 6 agent variants and 6 starting programs to crack corporate security. Security, locations, threats and loot are randomly generated, so each playthrough is different. People on Steam are talking that this game is criminally underplayed, so I am spreading awareness and letting you know about it. Druid Stone. This title was never so cheap. This is an all-time low for this game with very positive reviews on Steam. Set in a unique fantasy world, Druid Stone is filled with ancient lush forests, standing stones, snow-capped mountains, deadly creatures and puzzle-ridden ruins. And you will control three characters, Ava, Oiko and a man with a bit unusual name for my ears, Leon Hard. Wait, what is your name again? Leonard? No, it's Leon Hard. Yep, I named straight from the adult websites. Last time when I made this joke, real life Leon Hards and their moms tried to prove to me that this is a completely normal name in the comment section, and nobody believed them. Divinity Original Sin 2. I remember when several years ago I was still working as a copywriter in one fancy advertising agency, I had a co-worker who was a hardened gamer, and by that I mean that he played all the games on hard difficulty and had no trouble with it. I don't remember his name, so let's call him Leon Hard for this story. One early morning I came to work and he was sitting on my desk with red eyes wide open. Have you played Divinity Original Sin 2? He asked, and I was like, no, I don't even know what that is. And then Leon Hard said, that is the best game I have ever played. You must try it. And then he just went home to sleep. It turned out that he installed the game before going home last evening and played it all night at work. That probably got him fired. I don't know, I was fired sooner for playing Hearthstone at work all day. Office life wasn't for me anyway, so be careful. Check if you have a lot of free time before playing. Overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam are there for a reason. Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus 
take control of one of the most technologically advanced armies in the Imperium, the Adeptus Mechanicus. He will lead the expedition on the newly rediscovered planet and will try to seize the power. You can customize your team, manage resources, discover long-forgotten tech and control your tech priests every move. People on Steam are talking that this game is highly addictive, well-written and can be appealing not only for Warhammer fans, but also for simple folk that never even heard the word. I doubt the last one, but it's really Leon hard <laughs> to find negative feedback. 93% of the reviews are positive, meaning that this game is only 2% short from overwhelmingly positive ranking. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing and if you are already subscribed, check if you clicked on bell notifications as well. Let's be friends with benefits. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye!